All right, time to move on. We have crossed the ocean, and we're at the Astana. Astana, that's got to be it. Oh, jeez, it's another one of these. Where I gotta rotate the camera around a lot in order to figure out how to move around. Mm, aqueduct. Looks like you have water all over the place, though. Is that a gun? Like, look at the rifling. It's completely straight. Either that or it's like a uh, four-barrel like a Gatling gun. Are we in Junon or something? Yeah, well then that means should be good, right? I was trying to talk to that guy, but whatever. Can I not? Is this gun blocking the way I can't get forward? <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's a weapon shop. Yeah, what do you got? Oh, it's an armor shop. You know, I've been having a hard time keeping enough... I've been having a hard time keeping enough, um... Money. To be able to proper, properly outfit my, uh... My characters. Oh, no. So, if this isn't a weapon shop... What the hell are, uh, those swords doing on the wall? Alright, so I can, uh... I'm gonna take care of this when the camera's not on. I'm not even certain I need an armor upgrade right now. Okay, so we have a, um... Oriental-themed place here. Carinade, that's what you call it. That's absolutely not a carinade, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so the city was built around this cannon. <laughs> and then I guess when the aqueduct was put in, he's like, oh, people are like, oh, well, let's move there. <laughs> okay. Wait, hold on. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I think I've been everywhere. Look how small this walkway is. Holy shit, who designed this place? <laughs> I mean, it's decorative. But it looks like it should be something that's there, you know? I mean... And look at this. It's like there's no way to access this. What the hell am I supposed to do? It seems like I'm supposed to go under the cannon. But I can't figure out how to do that. Oh, there's a building here. I don't think I've been in there yet. Just a shop. Oh, it's a... It's an inn. Although it's got a weird floaty platform. That might be something important. You know, it's not much of a town. Alright, let's just make sure I talk to everyone. Um, okay, so I can't get through there. There's one character I haven't spoken to. Well, two characters. This kid. 
Oh wait, no, I already talked to that one. Oh, there's a guard here. And there's... Is there another place I can run to? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> aqueduct. I just needed to talk to the guy to find out about the aqueduct, I guess. And we're in a fight that early. Guess I'm about to find out if I should have gotten those armor upgrades. Oh, goose. Oh, none of these are new. Kill the Mage Goo first. Oh, did I have Nina do a physical attack? <laughs> oh, well, she killed it anyway. Well, that was... Ah, what the hell. Occasionally, you'll see in these games a situation where they'll throw weaker enemies at you. But it's, uh, normally they're supposed to be ramping up in strength as you get further into the game. Alright, Nina. Like, you can fly and shit. You're like right there, just drift down on top of that thing. Nope, you didn't do it. <laughs> oh, there's no ladder. <laughs> I get you'd be leaving everyone behind, but... Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> it's not a gondola, it's an elevator or a lift. A gondola has to travel over some kind of a horizontal axis. Oh, man, they are fucking killing me here with this camera shit. Like, I get that they wanted to go and... Oh, it's a new goo. Let's throw some attacks at it. I get that they want to implement the rotatable camera... To kind of... Oh, it's going to parry. <laughs> they want to implement the rotatable camera in order to f force you to use it and to look for a way through rather than just being able to progress through real easy. But, you know, you're doing it too much. Counting something. You know, that was something funny in Earthbound. Me talking about other games again. Earthbound was an RPG on the SNES, if you're not familiar with it. And it took place in what was an unusual setup at the time, a contemporary setting, the 90s, in some approximation of Western, the Western world. And all of the enemies were goofy as hell. They were like hippies, hippies and homeless people or crazies or whatever. This does this. Oh, yep. <laughs> but occasionally you'd run into an enemy that, for seemingly no reason, would waste one of their turns. Because it was a uh, turn-based battle system. And an enemy would waste one of its turn doing something weird like sizing up the situation or whatever. It was pointless. It would do pointless activities just to waste a turn. I guess it was maybe it was a balance thing. They wanted to make... Uh, no. They wanted to maybe balance the game out, or maybe they just thought it was funny. <laughs> I mean, you can balance the game out by having an enemy waste a turn and not, um, and not attack you at every turn. But you know what? I'm not quite sure that's what they're doing here, because I, uh, I got into another fight with one of those goos, and it was counting something, and then I attacked it, and it countered my attack like it did before. <laughs> 
Did this just take me to where I was before? No, it's a different part of it. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Ah, some money. You know, I guess that's something, because I was complaining earlier about not having enough money to uh, outfit my characters. See, look at this. I gotta change the camera angle a lot. You know, honestly, I wouldn't be um, too hard on that mechanic there if the transition. So, like, check this out. I press the button, and there's this odd little delay, and the rotation is a little bit slow. Also, the characters can't move while the camera is rotating. Who I think did that a lot better was Square when they did the um, Xeno Gears or Xeno Gears, however you want to pronounce that. They have a similar rotating camera, but there are two differences that I'd want to point out here. One is that the characters can move when the camera is rotating. It doesn't freeze the game world. Yeah, go ahead, jump in. That's not a mistake or anything. The cameras can the characters can move while the rope world is rotating. And two, the environments feel quite a bit less cramped. Hey, hold on. Are we where we were? Oh, here we are. It's where the, uh, the, uh, that, uh, flash forward was during the dream. Yeah, it showed him, not you. You weren't there, remember? <laughs> Yeah, shake off like you're a dog. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this entire dungeon in this episode, because we're at the 12 minute mark. If it takes a half an hour or so, I don't want an episode to be 45 minutes long. <laughs> I mean, not that I have a real problem with uh, making long episodes. Just in general, nobody's going to watch one that that's long. It's that long. I can watch my own... I can see my own analytics. I can see how long people actually watch things for. And in general, it's the case with any video, regardless of what it is. Most people actually start a video up and then click off of it pretty quick. So that screws with uh, watch time and all that, but um, it feels more like you can, uh, you can watch like a, uh, a line graph to see how, where people start to drop off in a video. And usually it's like at like a three or four minute mark, but for anything longer than like 45 minutes, someone watches that shit. Let's just do some physical attacks. Ah, thing takes a heavy hit with wind. Uh, was that a critical? <laughs> Some big flies there, jeez. Wind attacks, I wonder if there's any sort of like elemental weakness of flying enemies against wind attacks in this game. Oh, missed. Missed again. I mean, that, uh, that wind attack that Nina used was pretty strong, but it might just be... Okay, so... Holy shit. Okay, so maybe that's the thing's weakness. It's just magic in general, because that physical attack did much more damage than Nina's wind attack. But the wind attack landed on the first hit. So maybe it just has high evasion. Of course, evasion doesn't mean much against magic. It's a nice level. A lot of power, a lot of defense. Twister, that's a fishing thing. Yay! Life Shard, I think that increases your health permanently by one.
Nothing here. Anything here. Magic shard, same thing, but increases your health. Oh, up oh, here we are. Saw this already, didn't we? We've already been here. The fuck? <laughs> that guy see us? Oh, yeah, I guess he did. Thank you. 